Well, hello, scrappers. Welcome back to my channel. All right, it is a couple days into uh, January 2022. Happy New Year. And I'm already starting to see the requests in the comments of the videos I've put out recently. Are you going to do a year-end weigh-in on how much precious metals you accumulated during this last year? And, well, yeah, I am. Because, uh, frankly, I want to know, too. I really haven't been keeping good track of it. I have to say my accounting has not been great this year. I've just been sort of trudging along as best I can. I haven't had power in my workshop in about six months because we tore down the building that my workshop was getting power from. And we are in permit hell on rebuilding the new building that I'm going to be getting power from. So I have nothing but one skinny extension cord stretching about 200 feet to bring me power out here to keep my uh, fume hood and my hot plate running and, and a few other things, a few lights, but I can't run most of my equipment and I feel really like I'm underperforming this year, this last year with no power. But I think, I think on the whole though, I've done pretty well. So I've got, I've got some gold and some silver here. So uh, yeah, here's, here's the silver. And here's some cement silver that I haven't melted down yet. I wait until this jar gets fairly full, and then I'll uh, melt it down into bars. But here's some cement silver that's already melted down. Here's a, here's a gold bar I made earlier this year. And then here's all of my dirty gold powder. There's probably about an ounce here, I would imagine, from the weight. So we'll weigh it up and see. I've also got a few other things going on. I'll show you that towards the end, but I know a lot of people are impatient. They want to know, so you know. Let's see what we've got here. So silver, put all the silver up here. So 67.69, call it 67.7 grams of silver. And, and I'm making notes off camera just so I can remember these numbers. Although they will be in the video, that's true. So let's uh, zero this out. Okay, let's see how much cement silver I've got here that I haven't melted down yet. So another 48 and a half grams we'll call that. If I did the math right, that's 115.5 grams of silver. So that's that's a that's a fairly good silver haul for you know so far this year. And I, I have more silver in process that I started before New Year's, but I'm not going to count it because I've got to clean it up. It's it's contaminated with copper. It's dirty. So okay. So there's there's our silver. And I will use a different beaker for measuring up the uh, the powdered gold because I don't want to contaminate it with silver. So here's this little gold bar I made. So 24 grams right on the money. I remember pouring that and I don't remember how it got 24 on the money, but okay. Ah, that was weird. My uh, SD card was full and it cut off in, uh, in mid-sentence there. So I had to go back and delete some old videos. So I could do some more recording. So yeah, 24 on the money with this. Okay. So let me uh, put another beaker up here, clean one. Zero this out again. And then we'll uh, weigh out the dirty gold powder. I mean, it's dirty in I mean, a lot of people. It, it's not really that dirty. It's actually a pretty nice brick red color. Um, but I always like to at least triple refine my gold powder before I melt it down and make, you know, bars out of it. So it needs to go through at least one, maybe two more refinings before I melt it down. So we got 30.51 grams. What is called 30.5. So, hey, 54.5 grams of gold. That's about an ounce and a half, roughly. So I guess that's pretty good for a year when I didn't have power most for, for at least half of it. So that's that's not too bad. Hey, I'll take that. Okay. I'll put this back in the little jar once I'm done filming so I can concentrate on it and not spill it all over the place. Because I hate having to clean that up when I do that. Because I know I never get it all. And it bugs the heck out of me. So I've got a couple other things I'm working on. 
Um, let me show you here. Uh, this jar contains um, platinum group metals that I have uh, precipitated out of various solutions. Uh, they're not gold and they're not silver. And I am assuming that they are platinum group metals. Probably some uh, platinum, some palladium, maybe a few other things. Um, you know, I've, I've seen on the Stannis chloride test that I've got something in there. It's either orange or it's kind of greenish. And it's like, well, it's not gold, but there's something in there. So I precipitated out and I've captured the, the, the metals on filters. And there's really not enough here yet to bother processing further. But I am storing it for the future. And uh, sooner or later, I will have enough to bother with. Uh, sooner or later, I need to deal with my stock pot, which has been bubbling away out there for years now. So hopefully there's some good uh, PGMs in the bottom of it. Sooner or later, I need to tackle refining them. Plus, I need to get the gold out of the stock pot. I'm sure there's plenty of it in there by now. Um, you know, the copper. Uh, I have a video on copper. I've, I've recovered many pounds of copper from my cement... Uh, copper in my um, in my waste bucket. We'll count that towards the yearly total. Um, and I've got uh, an electrolytic cell that I've built and started to experiment with. There'll be a whole series of videos coming out about that. Uh, where I put my cement copper bars that I've been pouring through the electrolytic cell, refine them, and get the anode slimes, which contain more precious metals, more gold and silver and whatnot in them. And plus, I was playing around with the Eco Gold X not too long ago. In one of my recent Eco Gold X short videos, I wound up with some pink crystals, which were pretty inert to everything I threw at them. And some people say they could be rhodium, like rhodium chloride. Some people say they could be palladium chloride. I'm leaning more towards, well, if they are a precious metal uh, salt, probably rhodium because they're way inert. Uh, I, have to, I have to take them off somewhere where I can get them hit with an XRF gun and see what they are. But, yeah, I'm accumulating a fair amount of these pink crystals. So hopefully they are the salt of uh, some precious metal. That would be great, because if I could figure out how to reduce it to the metallic form, hey, I could sell it. If it's rhodium, that would be fantastic. My God, that stuff's going for a lot of money. So, um, periodically, I sell my gold to a jeweler that our family has been doing business with for, well, generations. So, what I might do, I don't even know if they have an XRF gun. The next time I'm over there, I'll have to ask them if they have an XRF gun, if they would shoot these pink crystals of mine with it. So I'd show them to you, but they're they're in another jar in another part of the workshop in in liquid. They're not they're not free to show you, but I'll I put a link to that video where I found them. Um, so yeah, that's not a bad haul for for one year, I guess, considering the the issues here with the with no, no power most of the time. So yeah, 115 and a half grams. Well, 115.2, I guess we won't. Uh, so 115.2 grams of, uh, of silver and uh, 54.5 grams of gold. I'll take it. Not bad. So, and of course, I'm still processing the chips I bought on eBay. I still got about half of them to go. So, already got a good start on next year's total. I got videos coming out on lots of stuff. Um, the rest of the IC chips of the eBay purchase are being processed so I can calculate whether I'm going to make a profit or not. A lot of people are interested in knowing. Um, the electrolytic cell stuff's coming out. I've got a lot of other stuff going on. Um, my buddy at, uh, at the big multinational pharmaceutical company who works in IT there told me, hey, by the middle of January, we should have a big lot for you to come by and pick up. So I should be doing a big scrap pickup from them soon, hopefully. So a lot going on in this new year, and hopefully it will be a better year than the last year. Hopefully I'll get the lights back on out here and be able to process stuff a lot better. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If so, give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe to see future videos. Lots of them coming out. 
and I'll see you more in this new year. Bye.